Casper, a disappointing night for Leicester in the end. How would you sum up the game? Yeah, like you said, disappointing. Uh, started slow, finished strong, um, but by then it was too late. Um, I mean, I think we created more than enough chances, particularly in the second half, to, to get something out of the game. But, you know, we, uh, we just weren't sharp enough in the end. Um, and like I say, we, we, we give ourselves a difficult task, very difficult place to come. You know, crowd on you, uh, terrible pitch, made it really difficult for ourselves. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, yeah, like you say, it's disappointing. What has the manager just been saying to the players now? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not going to sit and say what, what he said, but, you know, we, we're, we're very disappointed with, with the result today, uh, disappointed with the first half performance, but second half, there's, there's positives to take. Um, but we've got to be better, simple as. What was lacking? in particular it seemed like the tempo was not quite there at times no i think the tempo was there in the second half i think it was the tempo in the first half and the cutting edge um like i say we had more than enough chances to to score we scored it i don't really know what what happened on the goal that we scored uh, i couldn't really see from where i stood but like i say we uh, a side like us with the amount of chances we created today we we should get something from the game it's one win in six now What's going wrong for Leicester right now? Nah, listen, we, we're always going to get into a period of difficulty. You know, we've had we've had two and a half years of, of, of massive success, and you know now we, we this is where we get tested. This is where we show what we're made of. At the moment, you know, the confidence probably isn't that high, um, but now we got to step up. We got to be counted. This is uh, this is why we want to be uh, or we want to view ourselves as a top team. So when when you go through difficult spells. You gotta, you know, you gotta tough it out, and you gotta make sure that you're not losing games like this. And um, you know, we got another game on on uh, Sunday, sorry, which is which is a huge game for us again. And just particularly as a goalkeeper being down this end, what's it like with that lot behind you? Uh, no, it, like in the game, you don't you don't re like you don't notice it that much. I mean, they're incredibly loud, and and particularly in the warm. I mean, it, I think it's it, it, it's some of the best fans I've ever seen on on the road. You know, it's. Uh, you know, it, it was it was amazing to see the the organisation of it all and everything during the warm up. But uh, like I say, when when you're in the game, the only time you really notice it is when you're communicating with each other, and it's, sometimes it's hard to hear each other. But apart from that, you know, they um, they got behind their team and their team they they responded. And just saw you swapping shirts with the opposition goalkeeper. What was he saying to you? Uh, he was just uh, saying, you know, good, you know, good game, and uh, you know, asked to swap shirts, and you know, he, he kept a clean sheet against a, a very good side today, and uh, you know, he made some good saves. So, um, well done to him. You made a very good one at the end as well, but it didn't yeah. work out in the end. Casper, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.